here as I stroll through the streets of Istanbul. I've just come out, get a little bit of fresh air. Editing the video today made me a little sad, to be honest. Um, those of you may not know quite why, of course, it's the time of, of COVID, and a lot of what you see in these videos now would not be allowed. So all those liberties have been taken away from us. But also, on top of that, um, a lot of you will know that I've got a great passion for outdoor markets, for wet markets all over the world, and I'm getting an immense amount, many hundreds of comments a day, really aggressive comments about the wet markets and how disgusting they are. So I was a little loath as to whether to put this video up, but I'm putting it up because to me, I still love them. I still love the culture of these beautiful open markets from around the world, and I hope you'll enjoy it too. So, without further ado, let me take you to a wonderful open wet market in India, Uti. Okay, we're at uh, St. Stephen's Church in Uti, my namesake. The foundation stone of the church was laid on the 23rd of April, 1829, by the Right Honourable Stephen Rumbold Lushington Governor, and the building was commenced on the 25th of January, 1830. have it. St. Stephen's Church, Uti. It's lovely old benches or pews, done with rattan seats. So I'm just trying to think if I've ever been in a St. Stephen's Church before. I don't think I have. So that was nice. My namesake church. <laughs> and here's the setting. In the mountains of Uti. There seems no one to talk to there. There wasn't anyone in the church. At least no one we could find. Because I wanted to ask why there were so many Australian species of plants in the garden. Um, we noticed as we came in, Michelle noticed, that they had what I consider to be Australian plants, the bottle brushes, and a lot of Aggie panthers, which, which isn't, I think, an Australian plant, but... Uh, but I'm pretty sure these are... these are indigenous... These species are from, from our country. So there must be some connection there. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> just taking his cow for a walk, as you do. So with Uti now banning all plastic bottles, uh, you have these, these are water ATMs. And you can come up here and fill your bottle up. I think it's about one euro one euro <laughs> it's one rupee looks to be for 200 mils maybe two rupees for 400 mils and five rupees for a liter so yeah you, you pop your money in here get your bottle underneath and get your your drinking water and that's cheaper if you buy a liter of bottled water and it's 20 rupees yeah 20 25 rupees for, rupees for a liter of bottled water five rupees for a liter so it's cheaper for them but you have to reuse your bottles which is a great thing um the only place so far in india i've seen this happening i think it's going to be across india very shortly but uti are doing it already the only thing is it's causing a bit of problems because you can't buy drinks on on the the hock when you're out walking sometimes it's a bit tricky but i'm sure the utarians have uh, I've gotten used to it. What is this? Oh, biryani. Biryani, huh? Oh, 
Ah, beautiful. Chicken biryani. <laughs> Thank you. Big pot of chicken biryani going. Hey! Today in Uti, Michelle and I are going to take you around the municipal market. Hello. Good, good. Good. There it is. I've got a feeling this is going to be a lot of fun. Look at this place. Look at the colours. So the municipal market, look at the, the vegetables. Original carrots. Original. I, I, I don't think they're carrots, I think. Aren't they radish? Uh, maybe yes, possibly. Possibly radish. We're not sure. Michelle and I, we're used to seeing the red cabbie, uh, carrots in China. Sorry, my throat's a little bit hoarse today. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. It's beautiful. The flower sellers here. All these beautiful potatoes, tomatoes. Hello, how are you? Uh, tapioca. I can point at food. It's not Buddha. <laughs> Michelle's saying don't point. Because I've got to get in the habit because you shouldn't point at religious artifacts uh, with your fingers in India. You should use an open hand. But I think you can point at food. <laughs> Look at this place. These are the little clay candles or, or they put a little paraffin in here and a wick and you see them burning them uh, around the houses for special occasions and there are different sizes but this is the common one there are hundreds of them look little and probably different qualities so maybe these ones are a little cheaper because they were a rough cut porcelain different sizes <laughs> these ones up here are actually um, these ones are enameled so they may be uh, a little more expensive no plastic bags in Uti. Limes, look at these limes. Beautiful limes. Limes and lemons. And more candles. The little coconuts. Small size coconuts. And the, and the sweets. Oh, smell the coriander. Oh, smells good. Yeah, fresh coriander. The banana seller, hello. Hello, sir. Good? How much uh, one kg? A dozen. dozen 60 rupees. A dozen is 60 rupees. You sell by a dozen. Ah, okay. Five rupees for one banana, one dozen bananas, 60 rupees. So not by the kilo. Come down a quiet alleyway here. Um, guava. 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 <laughs> and this one, what is this one? Sapota. 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 Uh, this is this one, is it? And you eat? Eat. Like this? Mm. Not the suit. Not the suit. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. The name again? Sap. Sapporta. 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 Thank you. Sapporta. Mm, nice. Not sure what that is. A little bit pearish, pearish but sweeter. Mm, it's left a sticky <laughs> syrup on my hands. Hello. Red bananas. Normal bananas. Little sweet bananas. These are beautiful. How much? How much? Each five rupees. Each five rupees. Twelve dozen? Twelve bananas, sixty. Sixty rupees. Yeah. Thank you. Lovely little sweet grapes they have here. Huh? Can I try? Thank you. Can try a grape? Give a little polish off. What are you making there with the juices? Oh, a little sour on the grapes. Little sour. Good. 
I like this. <laughs> hey, Mr. Charlie, man, Charlie, me, banana. Banana, man. <laughs> this is avocado. Big avocados, huh? Big green. Soft or? No, green, green. A green avocado, huh? Three, four days, keep it dry for me. Uh, how much? Kilo, 300. 300 per kilo. Come from? Australia. 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 Come on, Granite. Come on, Granite, so so. Hey. So much good food. This place is alive. No, not smelly. Not smelly in here. Fresh smelling. No real sort of unpleasant smells. Hello. Hello. Yes. Look at this, look at this puff rice. Man, look at this. Puff rice. Thank you. Breakfast. Oh yes. Add some milk and sugar, very good. Mm. Oh delicious. Delicious, thank you. Good looking. Ah, ah the sugars. Rice and sugars. Jaggery? Palm sugar. Palm sugar? Jaggery. Uh -huh. And more puff rice. Puff rice. <laughs> what do you call this? The name? In Tamil or English? Tamil. In Tamil. Puri. 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 Like pani puri. Like puri. Uh, no. Puri. Yes. Oh. Puri. Yeah, okay. And, and and in English? Puff rice. <laughs> puff rice. <laughs> Thank you. The puri may be more Imagine that, that's like rice, right? That's like snap, crackle, and pop. Homemade, a little tiny bit savory. Yeah, yeah, no sweetness. Mm, nice. Cool, the pastas here. Different pastas. Rice pasta. All the different varieties of rice and grains. What is this one? Soya checks. So, from soya bean? Oh, okay, thank you. you. Look good there, huh? Look good. <laughs> oil. This guy's selling all the different oils. So, many different oils, huh? This one. Vegetable, coconut. Coconut. Groundnut. Uh huh. And what's this one? Sunflower. Cooking oil. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Hello, Pussycat. You have a nice color. Chilies. Look at the chilies. Mustard, Mustard seeds. <laughs> this? No idea. It's got mold on it. Mm, it's <laughs> to have mold. Not even sure what that is. People are so friendly in these places. So this is this way you come for your daily goods, you know. India, like so many parts of the world we travel, still come out daily to buy the produce for cooking. Bases, chilies, onions, tomatoes, almost every gravy, every sauce starts with mustard seeds and not everyone obviously. These are like an aubergine. They're like a pea aubergine almost, right? Mm -hmm. Hello. How are you? Beautiful potatoes. Hello. Hello. How are you? Camera. Video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this, this place is a labyrinth. Goes all the way up through here. Comes another banana man. Goes all the way down through here. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Thank you. Wherever you go, you're going to get people asking you for money. Choose carefully who you give to. Choose the people you wish to give to. 
that's my advice if it's needed. Yeah, the garlic man, garlic ginger, cauliflowers. This garlic also? Just small garlic. So much garlic, huh? And there's the coriander, the smell of the coriander. This is dill. This is some greens, sir. This one greens. Greens? Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. I like new, new potatoes, like sweet potatoes. Oh, the cauliflowers look good, huh? You see, I was just saying to him, we haven't got a kitchen, now, otherwise we'd be buying some of this stuff. We'll have to get a kitchen in India and do some cooking. I've got a feeling the, uh, the place is going to change if we go up here, away from food, into clothing and knickknacks. Bit of copyright music going on in the background, better move away from that. So I'm going to give a title to this video, something like an Uti Market. Tell me what you think the title should be, whether it's something more, you know, maybe you can come up, let's have a bit of brainstorming, come up with an idea. And if I hear something good, I might change the title name. We'll see. Hello. Hello. So popping out the back of the market now. Yeah, I think we're outside now. This is the main high street. I want to get back in the food side. I'm going to come along here. This pasta place. Ten rupees a kilo. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Ah, very good. And then the jewelry place. Yep. Hello. Bangles. Hello, young man. How are you? Hello. You good? What's your name? Sam. S Sam. Okay, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. <laughs> Sam. Lovely little kid. So we're back in the food side now. The egg man. The egg man. All different eggs. How are you? So five, five rupees for one egg, 60 rupees for a dozen. So that's probably under a dollar a dozen, uh, if you need to know. <laughs> Here there are bags of sweet capsicums, green and quite small in size. Video. Video ah. yeah. How are you? Yeah, yes. You're doing yeah, chai? Chai, coffee. Hello, country. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Uh. So he's the chai, chai man. Hello, how are you? So this is where he is in here making the chai. Okay. Show me. Okay, just just one. Just one. No, 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 she, no, no. she doesn't drink chai. <laughs> so the guy's gonna put a little chai in here. Sugar? Ah, uh, little. Come. Mm. Here's the milk. Oh, he's pouring the milk into this. <laughs> Very good. Very clear. He's uh, chai master. He's the chai master. <laughs> I like to make pretty pictures on the top. Chai uh, latte. <laughs> He just did a bit of chai art and I missed it. He takes the chai and he's just made a little lace design on the top and I missed it. Sugar is in, huh? Yeah. Ah, thank you. Cheers. Ah, good. Is it? Yeah. yeah. The chai is perfect. Your name? Raja. Raja. Raja's chai. Raja the chai master. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you, Raja. So I'm sat here, we're having a little pause. Raja's made me a beautiful cup of tea. Michelle doesn't like tea, but our loss. <laughs> beautiful, rich, sweet tea. Oh, together, together. Oh, okay. Here he is, man, my tea master. <laughs> Thank you very much. And look, here's the boss, the boss man. And nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now we paid with a 10 rupee coin and he looked at it like, oh, I wasn't going to accept it. Which wouldn't have mattered, we had others, but but apparently the 10 rupee coin is being phased out, he was saying. That's what it seemed to be saying. Yeah, they keep giving us, they keep... You, Australia. Australia. You coming from? Uh, I'm Indian. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No, no, From Uti? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go, brother. It's quite late in the day for a market, isn't it? Hello. Just having a chai. Oh, well, she got a little all set up beautifully here. And then she sat with the chai. <laughs> <laughs> Some animals been through here. <laughs> Are the cows allowed in here? No gates. So that's a little look around the municipal Uti market. Just the food section. Um, I didn't see a meat section. I don't know if it's or a vegetarian only market. It's possibly it is. Um, I didn't see a meat section. Maybe I'll walk a little bit further down here. And we can see, so the clock tower is just outside, maybe down here. Oh, it goes, it goes for miles. Stark contrast to our market walk in, uh, in China. And I'll leave a link down so you can compare the two markets. Very different style, very different feel. Here we are at the meat market. Chicken, I smell chicken, all chicken. Hello, how are you? Fine, fine. So here is all chicken, ah, chicken. Chicken, mutton, stall. Mutton? Chicken, mutton, this is stall. Okay. okay. So here's the chicken. So you go from fresh little chickens like this guy here. Oh, oh, two prepared chickens like this guy here. Oh, he's doing his block, cleaning the block, huh? Cleaning. Yeah. Little more smelly down here. Lot of chicken. And at the end, hello, how are you? Australia. And mutton here. Mutton, huh? Mutton, mutton. 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 You are coming from? Australia. Australia. You are coming from? In England. India. Here. England. India. India. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey. Turkey. Turkey's also, huh? Yeah. Look at these guys. Oh, look at the wattles. Good day. Fish. It's even a fish market. Man. Now I was told. Hello, master. Hello, how are you? Fine. River fish? Yeah. Huh? River sea. River fish, yeah? Huh? Everybody asks us where they're coming from. Here's a guy taking the feathers off. So they put put the chicken in the hot water. Oh this is uh taking the feathers off, yeah? Yeah. First of all, what they do is they plunge the chicken into hot water, which releases the feathers from the skin, and then they chuck it into here. And voila, like magic, <laughs> the chicken is plucked. Magic, huh? Magic. That's, that's the way they, they pluck the chickens, you know? Hot water um, releases the feathers from the skin. 
and then into you can make a homemade version of that sort of drum uh, they do often make them um, in small holdings we almost built one like that with our little farm would make things so easy and the little rubber fingers that are inside here they don't damage the skin of the, the chicken uh, it's a bit more smelly down this road a bit more smelly turn your eyes if you don't like this I love these places let's see what this one's like hello how are you beef beef yeah okay so this is uh, the beef section beautiful beef wonderful beef huh? Australia where are you from <laughs> Good man, right answer. So all beef, veal, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef. Young, young beef. Yeah. This? This one veal. This is veal, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Of course, I, I know. So, not veal. Wow, look, look at this place. Beautiful beef, huh? Beautiful. How are you, my friend? Huh? Look at the meat here, man. Yes, master. How are you? Fine. Good to see you. Got the whole carcass hanging up at the back there. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, so kind. For me. Thank <laughs> you. See you. Michelle's stealing the money. I'm getting the handshake. Michelle's getting the. Uh, getting the money out of his hand. Look at all this lovely uh, stewing beef. You guys cut it all up? Cubed, huh? Cubed beef. Good for slow cooking, huh? Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, stark contrast, really stark contrast to some of the markets, but similar to other parts of the world. But recently, because we've been in China, it feels a lot different. I'm familiar with this sort of market, but it does feel a lot different. Let's just get past this car before he runs us over. Bear in mind that Uti is uh, much cooler, the climate. So they can have this market on through the day. And the meats and that um, keep very fresh. Here's the milk. That's milk, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah this is curd. Oh, little packs of curd. Is this uh, curd or milk? Milk. Idli dos. Ah, okay. Okay. So it's a idli dos of butter. Oh, sorry. I'm going through. I tell you, if you were a photographer, my mate Scott would love this market for photography. There's so much colour, so many fantastic faces. Really character faces make some beautiful black and white photography um yeah it's definitely the place to come that's a hat and a half okay i'm going out the way we came in forgive my voice today it's failing me, it's failing me, but I hope you've enjoyed this look around the Uti Municipal Market. Uh, what a lot of fun. Back out into the quiet, the peace and quiet of Uti. So there you have it, what I think is the beautiful open markets wet and dry of India of Uti it really really brings a, a sort of lightness to my heart to watch those videos through because I love markets like that and uh, it also makes me feel a little sad if you're watching this in maybe a few years time and you don't realize that this is the time of the COVID crisis in 2020 another bike goes by if you if you're watching it in a few years time don't take for granted those simple liberties fight for the freedom to say what you think and fight for the freedom to act as you want because at the moment the world 
has gone a little bit crazy. <laughs>